So what is a siphon tube tank? A siphon tube tank is essentially a straw in a soda cup. Yes, you're probably like, really, what are you talking about here? This is layman's terms. This is the example I'm gonna give because this explains it so very easily. If you have a straw in, or soda cup and a straw, if you have the straw outside the soda cup with the soda in it and you squeeze the cup, the air comes out the top. The same thing with a CO2 tank. The liquid sits at the bottom of a CO2 tank, which the tank is under pressure. Nobody's squeezing the tank. So that pressure will push the air out or the CO2 gas first. The liquid converts to a gas inside the tank and the gas will continue to come out. Well, when on the soda cup example, when you pop that straw in the soda cup all the way to the bottom and then you squeeze the soda cup, what happens is liquid soda comes out the straw. Jumping back over to the CO2 tanks, same concept. You have a dip tube that's attached to the valve, also called a siphon tube, an adductor tube. And what that does is it goes all the way to the bottom of the tank and when the tank's under pressure, that pressure is pushing that liquid up and out that siphon tube and out the valve. So you get liquid. Now, these tanks are also called, <laughs> also called, these tanks are also called adductor tube tanks, siphon, S-I-P-H-O-N, S-Y-P-H-O-N, or liquid draw tanks, or a dip tube tank, a dip tube. The tube dips inside the CO2. Now, Depending on how you use the tanks, that's a whole nother question and we answer those questions on this page as well. So that explains what the difference is or what is a siphon tube tank, I should say. Thank you for watching and this is CryoFX.